What's up guys? Welcome back to video 2 of the go-kart build and um, today we're going to be doing all the measurements and cutting of the metal tubing for the go-kart frame. Uh, Will's behind me making some measurements right now. We got our miter saw. Um, actually we had to buy one because um, I guess Home Depot doesn't rent out miter saws that cut metal so we had to buy a rigid uh, miter saw and then of course the first one we got was broken because the blade would hit on the blade guard so I had to take that back and then get another one so this one finally works and um, we're just making all the measurements first and then we're going to go in and cut them and just the phrase that we're living by right now is measure twice cut once so let's get to it do you want to do a line first so it's easier to no I got it it's all, it's all set up there Gel packets. Ow. <laughs> My eyes are face. Will, would you like to explain to the audience what you're doing right now? So I'm doing a very complex technique known as drawing a line across a beam. A wow. line is defined by a point and <laughs> I don't even know, a direction in infinity. <laughs> I forget what the actual like idea getting all technical right here what I'm trying to say is I'm doing this thing where I'm marking <laughs> where we're gonna cut at each point it's very, and then we're gonna cut there yeah it's very difficult to understand you and it's an engineer you and, <laughs> you and, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys what we finalized from the last video where we were actually measuring and um, putting all the designs on the computer. So this is our final product of the um, frame design on uh, SolidWorks. And as you can see, we have two different um, isometric views, the front and the back. And then um, we have our build list. And we're checking off the pieces that we measure as we go. And it tells us how many of each length piece we have. And so that's a really useful feature that SolidWorks gives. And this um, schematic, diagram kind of just reminds us of which piece is which and um, I just said which piece is which <laughs> um, but it just tells us you know each part is X amount of inches long so we can figure out which ones we're measuring for so we're just uh, doing all the measurements and we'll be, we'll be getting to cutting shortly and there's Will. One thing I just wanted to tell you guys and kind of share some useful knowledge with you is if you guys are looking at building a go-kart or any sort of um, you know design where it takes a lot of measurements and cuts, I definitely recommend planning it out ahead of time. It just makes it so much easier, so much more organized, and a lot more efficient in terms of you know actually cutting and building everything. So definitely a top tip that I recommend doing if you're looking at uh, building a go-kart or anything else. Alright guys, so we've done most of the measurements right now and I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up and fill you in with how we've done so far. And um, basically the measurements have gone really well. We've been using a little um, tape measure like this and it allows for really precise measurements. And um, we really tried to um, cut down on like metal wasted. So what I mean by that is we have a six foot section of, of uh, tubing and we want to just make sure we utilize all of that section we could and so far we've only wasted like I'd say maybe two inches of tubing other than that all the numbers have come out evenly and um, we've gotten gotten most of them measured and the final thing we have to do is just measure the uh, diagonal cut pieces and we may or may not have to go get um, a little bit more tubing from Home Depot uh, just because the other place we got it from is now closed so I uh, just want to fill you guys in with what's going on and We'll continue the video. Talkies are so good, but my mouth is on fire. Woo! 
Ah, need water. All right, guys, so we just ran into our first uh, major kind of hiccup of the project. Um, we finished all our measurements, and then what we realized is we didn't account for the width of the blade of the saw. And the blade of the saw is about uh, 0 0.1 inches thick, and so um, since most of our uh, measurements and pieces were all fit to the full uh, 72 inch uh, piece of pipe. If we had 10 cuts that would be an inch short. So we have to uh, kind of cut and then measure as we go and um, account for the width of the blade now. So we're kind of having to start from scratch but it's good that we caught it before we started cutting because we didn't waste any materials. Um, we had to go back to Home Depot to uh, get another section of uh, six foot uh, tubing. Um, but you know we're doing it now and we're just about to start cutting and uh, I've got my uh, earplugs in and also we're wearing full eye pro because you don't want any of the carbide bits from the blade or any sparks to fly in your eye because that would be very bad and hurt a lot so we always take full safety precaution here and so we're gonna get cutting and the sparks are gonna start flying loud noises Rolling. What's up guys? This is day two of the cutting process of the go-kart. Um, today we're just gonna be finishing up the last like 14 or so pieces that we needed to cut that we didn't get a chance to finish yesterday because um, we had to go out and we didn't want to be cutting too late because it's pretty loud and we didn't want to piss anyone off. Um, so we're just uh, finishing up that and what we're doing is um, we've switched off between using the miter saw and then the other person is actually using the Dremel tool and is uh, just filing down the cut pieces because there's when you use the miter saw it doesn't always give you a super clean cut and it's just uh, getting off the excess metal that's left over after cutting that. So um, we finished about, I think it was like 60 pieces yesterday and we have a total of 74 so it's a lot of cuts and it was a long day of cutting. It was extremely dirty after we cut it. There was uh, carbide dust everywhere. And um, so yeah, we're just gonna finish it up today and um, then after we have all the pieces put together, we're gonna lay it out on the ground and see how it looks. So uh, I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing for today. Yep. So what we're doing is we help each other measure the pieces so it's more accurate and then we use this 90 degree uh, I don't know, what do you call it like a ruler slash a square square and that gives us a straight line so we can make an accurate sharpie mark to uh, gauge our cuts.
Alright everyone, so we just finished all the straight cut pieces and um, we are about to begin cutting all the diagonal ones but before we do that I want to show you guys kind of all the pieces uh, put together that we've cut so far and uh, I think all in all, all the straight cut pieces makes up about 65 or so uh, different components of the go-kart frame and uh, they all started as six of those six foot section long pieces right there or I guess, yeah, six of them and um, now they've turned into all those little small pieces and uh, that took quite a while and of course with our measurement error where we didn't account for the blade width we had to redo that and kind of measure and cut as we went so that took longer but uh, in the end it made for a more accurate uh, cut and we were really, were really glad that we caught that before we started and so now uh, to finish off the cutting for this time at least we're going to be doing all the diagonal pieces right now and um, those are going to be for the different support pieces um, in the um, front part of the frame so we're going to go ahead and start measuring those and then cut them as well So there's two different types of angle cuts we have to make. There's one called a uh, trapezoidal cut, and that's where the two um, 45 degree cuts are going in opposite directions. And then there's a parallelogram cut, where the, uh, the 45 degree angle cuts are actually going in the same direction. And that all depends on how we have it laid out on the frame. And uh, I'll show you guys the different two cuts, but first we're gonna go ahead and finish cutting our first parallelogram cut piece. <coughs> All right, so we got Will manning the uh, miter saw now. He's cutting the last set of the 45 parallelogram pieces. So Will, why don't you go ahead and cut them up. Okay, look, a little bit down, there you go, cool. All right guys, so we finished up all the cutting finally. We cut all the straight cut pieces this weekend. We cut all the diagonal cut pieces this weekend. I think all in all, it was like what? Here's Will. It was like what, like 74 pieces or so? 70, 76 pieces. 76 pieces, and um, that was a lot of cutting and frankly this is probably the most tedious part of the entire project and it's done. Um, we probably will still have to cut some more pieces in the future and add them on based on uh, mounting the engine and getting all the proper uh, support pieces to make sure it's sturdy enough. Um, but for now I think we're mostly done for cutting wise and um, what we did is we laid it out on the ground and made sure everything, all the pieces fit together properly all the lengths work and it looks great and um, we d I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us cutting sparks definitely flew this entire weekend and um, we're stoked to get this all done because we got really tired at one point of doing all this cutting and especially when we messed up and didn't consider the um, width of the blade and we had to redo everything um, but I want to show you guys before I ended this video I want to show you kind of the layout right now and it looks really cool because the go-kart is coming to life like it went from paper to real life and it looks really cool and it makes me so much more excited to get this thing done and on the road so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the layout on the ground right now alright guys so like I said before I wanted to go I want to show you the design right now and if you guys can remember from the first build video the introduction 
you kind of saw this design on paper and I kind of showed you it a little bit before and now it's coming to life finally so we finally have all the pieces cut I think it looks really cool especially with those those angled cut pieces it adds kind of like a it makes it less square looking and um, the reason why we went with square tubing is because it's a lot easier to cut and weld together circular tubing you have to get a special drill bit to get a special cut so it fits around the radius of the pipe so square tubing is a lot easier to work with and um, we kind of laid out what the rear end is going to look like right now so you see the tire and then the two bearings we got the bearings yesterday by the way and then you see the universal joint and that's going to pivot right where the suspension arm uh, pivots with the tabs coming out of the frame so just seeing this in person and seeing it uh, like all put together like this is really cool so the next step is to send this off to the welding shop and uh, have it all welded together so it's gonna be really cool um, and I'm really excited for this cart because it's starting to come together all right guys so that's gonna do it for video number two of the go-kart build process this was all the cutting and fitting of the pieces and laying it out on the ground just want to extend a huge thank you to my friend will he's a good friend of mine I met in college and he gracefully came down for the weekend and helped me out not only designing the, the cart on the computer uh, he did all of the SolidWorks stuff so it's really cool he was able to do that because I know nothing about SolidWorks and he actually taught me a lot and um, just wanted to thank him for all his manual labor that he donated graciously for me. And uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for future videos to come because this build process is going to be awesome and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, comment, like, subscribe because there's a lot of cool videos to come. And um, you guys will probably see Will in some future videos because he's definitely going to come down and help me some more with uh, the build process. So thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna say loud noises and then you can go ahead and start it. Okay. Loud noises! Well that sucked. In the garage we play baseball in our spare time. Do you have like a knee pad or something? Yeah. So we had a big <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look at your face until now, I'm sorry. You look great. <laughs>